All right, this is the WL Toys 959B. I've added the brushless setup. It's a 3650 with a 4300 kV output. And uh, this is the transmitter I got. This is the uh, Radio Link RC4GS with the built-in gyro. That's what the G stands for. And so let me show y'all what's going on here. I managed to get everything lined up nicely so that I can still use the shell. And I'm waiting on a yellow shell from China. You got a 60 amp ESC and I'll put the links down below. And I have not tested all this stuff out in the field, so I don't know if it's good, bad. I mean, this is kind of your generic version, not super expensive. I think the ESC, which can run, you can see here, two or three S LiPo. This is a 60 amp, uh, which is gonna be good for two to three S. This is a uh, brushless motor. These two on eBay at the time, I'll put the link was about 30, uh, $35, $38. Um, and it's uh, 4,300 KV if I can move that wire over, there you go. Uh, I can post a link to that as well. I got this on Amazon. It's a micro server, obviously, and the arm works really well. Uh, basically, I just used the supplied arm that came with the new servo and then I put that little ball screw at the third stop and I'm still using all the original stuff of course I have these guys um, and then this is the cool part this is the uh, radio link gyro this is the receiver and I've got everything lined up and I did put the lighter wires the white and yellow on the inside which is the signal wire and it's the first uh, one and two uh, plugs right there. Uh, I think one is for the servo and then the second is for the ESC. And if I ever need to run a bigger battery or something longer, I can just grind down this little tab here and I can run it across here and I'll just remount the switch. Here's the switch. Let me turn this thing on. All right, there it goes. Steering kicked in and my receiver is on, or transmitter is on. So let me see. Super fast, I mean, really crazy. So check this out. That is the servo. When this thing spins out of control, the servo will respond and steer in the opposite direction. So let's see, you can see how it's working. It's pretty cool. And it does work. Uh, it definitely will stop it from spinning out of control. And the cool thing about this uh, <coughs> transmitter is you control the sensitivity of the gyro, gyro right here. So if I turn this guy all the way like this way, which would be towards me, this is still gonna work, um, but it's way less, look at that. I think it actually feels like it's off. There's just barely anything. Right, here we go. I'll do a little bit of a tire bulge test, but I don't want this thing flying off. It's crazy fast. <laughs> Yes. Not even halfway throttle. Not even. Oh my god. The other thing I didn't mention in, in the video was I routed the whatever that wire is going from the uh, receiver. Uh, so I wire I routed it out the back here. I saw somebody do something similar to that, and then it just goes up out here. So. You know, unless this thing is popping wheelies, then it probably won't get hurt. These generally don't ride wheelies. They tend to just spin out. So um, I'll figure out some different ways to mount that. Maybe I could even, you know, carry it under here, but that's where I mounted it. And it seems pretty clean. It's all clean, looks just like stock. So it's definitely gonna be a sleeper and we'll see what happens.